Well, everyone, um, this is going to be episode four. One thing led to another, and I don't have to move just yet. I still got a couple weeks. So tonight I'm going to get out and do some more herping. It's a little windier tonight, so the audio might be bad up in some spots. I might have to do a voiceover. But I'll let y'all know what I find. So we're in a dry spell right now. It literally hasn't rained for almost three weeks. And uh, a lot of the creeks are drying up. The ponds are drying up. And I haven't seen a snake in a while. That's what I'm trying to find. The last snake I found was that king snake. Well, I just saw a uh, plain belly water snake. But I have no idea where he went. I'm going to circle the pond a few times so I can find him again. Well, everyone, I made three different passes and I didn't see that uh, plain belly water snake again. But uh, hopefully the creek has something. Or uh, if it doesn't, I'll just uh, edit whatever I find tonight in with tomorrow. Because tomorrow I'm planning on coming out in the daytime and looking for snakes. I'll let you know if I find something. There we go, a black king snake. Lampropeltis nigra. Oh crap, he just struck at the camera. That is awesome. Yeah, I was kinda, he bit the camera again. I was kinda bummed about that water snake, but this makes up for it. Oh, he's biting the camera. If you want to tell male from female king snake, um, males will have longer tails. Yeah, I'm gonna get some photos of him and see what else I can find. Well, that was a pretty cool find. That's actually my sixth king snake of the year, and also the sixth one within a mile of my house. But yeah, uh, while I'm uh, walking to the gas station up here, I'm gonna come back and look up in the trees for rough green snakes. So, I'll, so stay tuned. Well, everybody, I flipped this uh, traffic cone over. And look what was under it. This is a uh, black widow, uh, Latrodactus mactans. This is actually, ignore the air conditioner in the background. This is actually North America's most venomous spider. There's a lot of misconceptions about spiders. Like, people say the daddy long leg is the most venomous spider in the world. One, they're actually not spiders, they're called harvestmans, and they're more related to mites. Also, uh, daddy longlegs don't even have venom, but they actually can bite you just fine. But, uh, well, this is North America's most venomous spider, the Black Widow. I'll, uh, add some pictures. What's up everyone, um, today I'm going to get out and do some herping, it's uh, just now 12, and uh, I'm going to see what I can find in the daytime. I'm walking up on that pond that uh, I lost the plain belly water snake at last night. I don't know if y'all saw that, but there was just two river, there was just two uh, turtles sitting up on that rock over there. 
Well, I almost ran into this. This is a, a Polistes bellicosus nest. They don't have a common name. Pretty cool. I'm going to try to walk around it without them hurting me. Here's a uh, female eastern pond hawk, dragonfly. Erythemy simplicosis. Pretty cool. I usually don't get video of them because they don't really hold still. Well, everybody, I'm not going to bother her, but, uh, right here's that same big snapping turtle we found the other day. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not going to pull her out or anything. I've already got pictures of her and video. Pretty cool. See if I found something else today. Well, this is something really cool. This is a, a chorus frog hatchling, uh, Sudacris. I don't know the uh, exact species. That's really cool. I mean, he is super, super tiny. And you just see it little, if the camera would, you can just see a little speck on my finger. That's him. Well, everyone, I haven't seen anything in a little while. I just found a few bullfrogs, but they hopped off into the water. But I know a spot down the creek right there that uh, has a lot of rocks, so I'm going to try to find a water snake. That is not good. What's up, everybody? Um, I'm going to get out tonight and do, try to do some herping. Um, the sky is looking horrible, so it might actually rain finally. There we go. There's a first find of the night, a little fowler's toad. And Azira's Fowlerai. Pretty cool. I'm gonna get a couple photos of them and see what else I can find. Here's another little Fowler's Toad. He was inside of this uh, water meter box. Um, if you ever find one in a water meter box like that, get it out and put it somewhere else because it's likely that he's stuck in there. Well, I just walked the pond, but didn't see nothing. I really haven't had much luck with the ponds lately. Uh... But I'm gonna see what else I can find. I'm gonna try to look in the creek and then walk to the park. Here we go. This is the first bullfrog. This is the first bullfrog I've been able to uh, photograph tonight. That's been not that hasn't jumped away. Uh, he's got some really nice green on his face. Well, everybody, I didn't see anything in the uh, uh, creek, but um, right up in this foliage, you can find rough green snakes. That's what I'm going to be looking for before I go to the gas station. Uh, hopefully, I can find one, because I've only seen four of them in my life, and three of them I found this year. So, they've been relatively common. They're just really hard to find. But uh, if you're lucky, you can catch the white underside of their belly. And that's how you can see them really well. But if you see them from the top, there's no way to really see them unless you have a really, really good eye. Well, everyone, I'm still looking for a rough green snake. But, uh, I am finding a bunch of spiders. I will put photos in the video. Well, everybody, this is a uh, orange striped oak worm moth. They're a pretty cool little moth. Um, their caterpillar is black and yellow. 
that's pretty cool. Uh, first one of the year for me. Uh, I'll let y'all know if I find anything else. Here we go. Here's one of my favorite moths of the year. This is a Pandora Sphinx. They're a uh, really hard. They're hard to spot when they're in the tree, but. They got that nice uh, camouflage color. Holy crap. That is amazing. This is a regal moth. Synthonia regalis. Now here's the thing. The moth is beautiful, but I'm going to put in a picture of the uh, caterpillar and I'm gonna credit it to whoever's, whoever's picture I, just, I happen to copy and paste. I'll uh, credit whoever it is. But their caterpillar is called a hickory horn devil and they are gigantic and scary looking. But this is the moth to it and that is amazing. I just, I was photographing that um, Pandora Sphinx and I saw this before I even photographed it but I didn't really pay any attention to it because I thought it was a leaf. That is amazing. Well, there was an old pair of pants laying on the side of the road. And when I flipped it, I found this little guy. This is a, uh, a ground skink. Or a little brown skink, whoever you, whatever you want to call it. Here's another nice gray tree frog that has a really cool green color to him.